Hi, Me High Naturalist. It's Miss Sammy here. And today, I'm going to share with you the difference between frogs and toads. Now, even though frogs and toads look really similar, when we take a closer look, we see that they're actually different critters with different characteristics. Now, frogs and toads both start off as eggs and they're born as tadpoles. Let's take a look at their life cycle. This is what a frog and a toad's eggs look like. And then, when the babies hatch out of those eggs, they look like this. And they're called tadpoles. They have round bodies and long tails and their long tails help them to swim in the water. Eventually, they grow their back legs, and then they grow their front legs too. And then what starts to happen is the shape of their body changes like this. They start to look more like a frog or a toad, but they still have that tail. And then they grow a little bit more, and that tail disappears just a little more. And then they grow into a full adult, and that tail is totally gone. This is a frog. And this is where frogs and toads start to look different. So today, I have a real frog here. This is a white tree frog, and his name is Mr. White. Let's take a look at, at Mr. White. Here's Mr. White, a tree frog. I'll give you guys a closer look. Here he is. This is Mr. White. So you'll notice Mr. White has two bulging eyes at the top of his head. You see his eyes? He has some dirt. He was buried. And Mr. White has slimy, smooth skin. Frogs have to stay wet and moist, so that's why Mr. White has slimy skin. Now, if you look at his body shape, he's thin and he's kind of long. He has a long body. And then let's look at his legs. He's got really long legs. And those long legs are so he can leap and jump really far. Let's take a look at his toes. You see his toes there? They have sticky pads on them. Those sticky pads are so that he can climb trees easy. <laughs> so that's a little bit about frogs and Mr. White. You guys say bye, Mr. White. Bye. All right. So now I'm going to put Mr. White back, and I have a toad to share with you. I'm going to share with you Bumpy, and Bumpy is a western toad, and he lives around Southern California. So he lives around here. Ah. There he is. Let's take a closer look at Bumpy. Oops. Here is Bumpy. And you'll notice that Bumpy has his eyes on top too, but his eyes have ridges. They're not bulging out the way Mr. White's eyes are. Another thing you'll notice about Bumpy is he has bumpy skin. He doesn't have smooth, 
slimy skin like Mr. White. And that's because toads, they don't need to stay as moist and wet as frogs do. They can spend more time out of the water. If we notice, Bumpy's legs are also not as long as Mr. White's. And that's because Bumpy doesn't leap as far as Mr. White. Bumpy actually hops. He is more of a hopper. <laughs> and if we look at Bumpy's toes, you notice his toes are like claws. That's so that Bumpy can dig holes and climb. If it gets too hot or too cold, Bumpy will dig a hole and live in a hole. <laughs> Another thing we'll notice is that Bumpy has a round, plump body, not like Mr. White. And there he is. Can you guys say bye, Bumpy? Bye. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put Bumpy away now. Now that we know the difference between toads and frogs, something that's similar about them is that they're both born from eggs and start off as tadpoles. They can live in both the water and on land, and they also both eat insects and worms, like crickets or flies and, animals and things like that. Something that might be fun to do after you watch this video is to practice leaping as far as you can, like Mr. White. And then after that, you can practice hopping like Bumpy. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you wonder anything about frogs or toads, have your parents leave a comment. See you later. Bye, Nihai Natural.